Hey everyone, welcome to the Weekly Blue Jays Baseball Breakdown. It is Monday, June the 4th, 2018. We're going to be taking a look at the series in Boston on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and then the series over in Detroit on Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So game one in Boston, we dropped this one eight to three. Sanchez gave us five innings, uh, gave up seven earned runs. Four of them came in the bottom of the fourth. Uh, he wasn't hit overly hard uh, in certain instances where things kind of squiggled through but then he was hit pretty hard in other instances it's kind of like Boston got exactly what they needed from him <laughs> uh, and the fact that we scored three runs when they scored eight just is not enough with the strength of the Boston team this year so we dropped game one eight to three the second game we actually dropped eight to three as well Estrada only pitched three and two-thirds inning gave up seven hits four earned runs uh, Biagini came in he pitched an inning gave up two earned runs they were really really kind of weak uh, sloppy baseball runs even though they'll go down as earned runs it's one of those things where as a pitcher <laughs> very frustrating uh, and at the end of the game final score again eight to three so game three we go out we lose this one six to four Gavigli on the mound gave us six uh, innings seven hits four earned runs then Tapera came in pitched one inning gave up two runs one of them earned uh, see now in this one we had a good chance we actually tied the game in the sixth inning with a two-run home run from Teoscar Hernandez but then in the bottom half of the sixth the Boston Red Sox scored two, so it was four, uh, four to two. They added a couple more. It was six to two. We ended up getting a few back in the ninth, and the final score in this game was six to four. So we got swept out of Boston. Going to Detroit Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. The game won in Detroit. We lose this five to two. Uh, Jaime Garcia wasn't even able to get through two innings. He pitched one and two thirds, gave up seven hits, four earned runs, um, all four in the second inning. Our bullpen in came in, uh, kind of stopped the bleeding, only gave up one more run throughout the whole game. Uh, and uh, But at the end of the day, our bats really weren't alive. We didn't strike out much uh, throughout the whole series in Detroit, actually. But for the first few games, we really didn't hit well either. So dropped the first game 5-2. to two. Second game, we dropped 7-4. to four. Hap was on the mound, gave us five innings of five hit ball, four earned runs through those five innings. So a little bit higher than Hap would have liked. Not the greatest outing, but he could, did keep us in it. Um, but at the end of the day, they ended up getting a few more out of the bullpen, and the final score on this one was 7-4. to four. Solarte did go deep for his 12th home run of the season. This is really like, like in the way that Solarte is playing this year he's had a couple of ruts but he's also had some very good games and he's a really high energy player who seems to be very happy and, and, and I'm really enjoying watching him play um, the third and final game in Detroit on Sunday afternoon we end up taking this one finally getting a win the final score is eight to four Sanchez on the mound pitched six innings gave up two hits one earned run so we had an excellent outing um, it was really nice to see got seven strikeouts only walked three guys I mean with Sanchez he's been walking a lot of guys lately so for to say only walk three guys through six innings is is pretty good uh, and at the end of the week get swept out of Boston and drop two out of three in Detroit so <laughs> one in five over the week right now our current record is 26 and 33 we're actually worse than we were at uh, the same time last season uh, there's still a lot of baseball to be played but I will say this if the Blue Jays continue to play this way over the next few weeks I would anticipate that we're going to be heavy sellers come the All-Star game. I'm going to anticipate that there's a possibility that John Gibbons would be released as the manager and other changes might be made, which is a little bit sad because these things kind of fall outside of his uh, control in all honesty yeah, he's been put together he's been putting together a little bit of uh, wacky lineups but it's because he can only work with what he's given at one point when Diaz was on the DL and we didn't have the shortstop we needed he'd seen some ga a game at short he's seen a game in the outfield uh, but these are basically almost out of necessity it's funny but it isn't but at the same time it would be nice if the upper management could give Gibbons a little bit more to work with uh, but all said and done this is baseball you can have the best uh, roster in all of baseball and still not win the World Series because injuries are a real thing slumps are a real thing and in the world of baseball there's just so many intangibles and unknowns in any season in any month in any week and in an, any game from day to day so we'll take a look at the week here after we play uh, Back in Toronto, New York's coming to town for a few games, and then Baltimore comes to town for a four-game series on Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So we'll talk to you next week and see how those things unfold. See you later, guys. Peace.